Hello, my name is Amir Miri. I'm a faculty of mechanical engineering at Rain University, and I'm presenting handheld bioprinting platform for voice surgery to Voice Foundation's annual symposium in 2020. The team includes myself, my graduate student, Mr. Matthew Malpica, and Dr. Robert Satalo from Drexel University. This work is targeting one common problem in voice surgery, vocal fold augmentation that involves delivery of hydrogels to the local tissue, they normally suffer from inconsistent clinical outcomes. Those inconsistencies could be associated with the hydrogel-based approaches that people are using in the clinic. Hydrogels are soft materials, and when you wanna deliver a soft material, there are issues associated with the mechanical properties and viscoelasticity of the hydrogen, and also the poor adhesion between the local tissue and the implant. So, people have been trying to propose new hydrogel formulations as the adhesive, and when they are proposing new formulations as a solution, we have a new problem for delivery of those formulations. So from that perspective, surgeon wants to have a minimized premixed biomaterial formulation and have the reduced mixing time or preparation time to have an efficient treatment. So what is the problem? for delivery of injectable hydrogels, lack of, access, lack of accessibility for vocal fold tissue site. It's hard to reach, right? Complexity in the process for composite hydrogel as a multi-component material. When you want to deliver adhesive hydrogels, you are currently dealing with multi-component hydrogel systems. Insufficient and a slow process and lack of stability for construct after implantation. And also, in some cases, heavy devices makes it difficult for the surgeons to use. So what we are proposing as a solution here is a handheld bioprinter. It's a lightweight device that can be used in surgical setting for voice surgery and even other related surgeries. What is the novelty? What is the innovation in our uh, proposed solution? We are proposing a mixing area or mixing region in our device that allows multi-components to meet at cross-link before leaving the nozzle, before leaving the device. So it gives you the flexibility of delivery of multi-component hydrogel systems. So during this project, we did a customer discovery. And for the customer discovery, we tried to understand the current problems. So we made some hypotheses and we tried to interview some surgeons. We interviewed over 14 surgeons from local hospitals. The hypothesis was the hospital and clinician wants to reduce the cost of materials. The surgeon wants to have ease of use and reduce mixing time. And third one, they wanna use reconstructive gels. What we learned from our interviews from surgeons that the care for cost of materials and wasted material is not a big issue. So the first hypothesis was wrong. But the second one, that was the ease of use and reduce mixing time, was actually a good one, especially for ENT surgeon. They want to have flexibility in mixing. And they also want some better biomaterials with controlled mixing. So added value is also coming from the biomaterial side that fit the device or the delivery method. So what is our design and what does it look like? You can see here, our design has two key parts. First of all, the key ideal case would be a curved, a curved metallic part. But at this moment, what we have is a coaxial metallic needle that is one section of the handheld bioprinter and the other section is the plastic syringe holder that can be used for keeping the standard size syringes and can be changed to any size that we want. So, Regarding the, uh, the tools that we have in our laboratory and the skills, we currently can make very small curve at the, tip of, at the tip of the needle side. But ideally, we want to move to a more curved side for better visibility of the surgeon. And also, we are considering a small hole in our device for LED, for illumination, and also one space for endoscopy side. What is the novelty that we discussed earlier? is the mixing area. As you can see in this slide, we are showing a characteristic length. That's the area that two materials, they come together, they mix 
and they have enough time to mix properly before leaving the nozzle. We already have submitted provisional patents at Ruhr University for this design. So I'm gonna show you two scenarios based on the current design that we have. We have two versions. One version that is a coaxial needle with almost no mixing length. So the internal needle and external needle are almost the same size. And in version two, we have a 70% of the total length as the mixing length. And we are using gelatin hydrogel as our model. We use gelatin hydrogel with two colors, yellow as the external layer and blue as the internal layer. So let me try the first video that is no mixing area. So as you can see, the material is delivering the two gels but in a non-mixed way. So the external layer is the yellow and then the core is the blue. On the right side, now you have a mixed condition that you have two materials of two colors and the color is green. So it's a mixture of yellow and blue. Again, I'm emphasizing that the current design is for a straight needle but in future we are planning to make it care for better visibility of voice surgeon. So what other experiments we did in our laboratory? So as an engineer we wanted to test the printability analysis. So we made a protocol in my lab using a standard bioprinters. We customized bioprinters. So we used a customized desktop printer for coaxial and triaxial needles and we develop a protocol for printability. And we use that protocol for this device. The material that we selected is a standard one, a combination of gelatin and sodium alginate. Sodium alginate is selected because it gives you the opportunity for click chemistry or very fast cross-linking between alginate and the calcium ions. So if you mix gelatin with calcium ions and you have alginate in the other side, when they meet, they cross-link fast. So we did printability analysis based on different concentration. As you can see, the printable form is a solid filament as shown here in this picture. So what was the range of viscosity? The viscosity of alginate, that is the main backbone material here because the gelatin was the softer material. So the dominant viscosity is coming from the alginate. As you can see, it's also shear thinning. So the amount of viscosity is reduced by increase in the shear. The range of the viscosity is the same range of viscosity people use for hyaluronic acid for vocal fold surgeries. The next test that we wanted to show the validity of our design was in situ experiments using an excise layering setup. So the PI in this project has developed the excise layering setup in his PhD. We are using the same concept to make a new apparatus at Rowan University, but uh, due to COVID-19 pandemic, we have stopped the experiment in the second week of March. We have the setup ready, but we haven't tested any uh, porcelain larynx. So, so far, we tackled the clinical problem with an engineering tool. Our device can help surgeons in a better way of delivery for soft hydrogels. We still have a long path to make it available for surgeons. Our future plans are curving the coaxial needle design using some metal forming tools, which currently we do not have in the lab, but we are planning to uh, apply for and get those tools and we can develop a protocol to curve the needle. Having a more ergonomic design for a handheld part. So the surgeon has no difficulty in handling the device with one single hand. Complete our exercise learning experiments, do the data analysis, apply for FDA approval, adding more features as we discussed earlier, like the blue light for photo cross link, and also doing an in vivo test that would be the last part of our plan. So we want to acknowledge the team members, also Rowan University a Startup Fund, also University of Delaware ICOPS program, which we did our customer discovery at this pandemic time. We appreciate the healthcare workers. They are our heroes. Also, if you want to have any collaboration, these are our contact information. I appreciate your time and consideration. Thank you and stay safe.